Question two, write in the missing numbers. Well, the first thing you should notice is in the first question, the missing number is the answer to the question. Whereas in the second one, missing number is part of the question. The answer is 200, and we already know that. So we'll have to bear that in mind in, at the mo in a moment. So first one, five times 70. Well, if you cover up the zero and do five times seven, you get 35. So put your zero back on the end. So five times 70 is 350. So that's the first one done. The second one's not so straightforward. Four multiplied by something makes 200. Well, there's a couple of ways of doing this. You could say to yourself, well, if I've got to make 200, four somethings will make 200. What goes in each box? Well, it would have to be 50 because four fifties will give you 200. So the answer is going to be 50. Another way of doing it is to say that if you're taking a number and multiplying it by four to get 200, you could actually reverse that backwards. Now, if you reverse and multiply by four, you're going to do divide by four because the opposite of multiply is divide. So 200 divided by four, remember to divide anything by four, you half it and then half it again. So half of 200 is 100, half that again is 50. So your missing mystery number must have been 50, which is also what we've got here. Whichever way you do it, the answer's got to be 50.